Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all doing really well. Today I'm going to be filming a video for you that I've seen quite a few different booktubers do and I think it just seems so fun and that is the five star anticipated reads video. So basically you just go through your shelves and pick out a few books that you hope and think might be five star reads and then you just talk about them and basically explain why. So this was actually a really fun video for me to prepare for because I've got so many books on my shelves at the moment that I'm really excited to read and quite a lot of them I do think are going to be five star reads. I mean I'm hoping so anyway and so I think I've got some really great books to tell you about in this video. So let's just jump straight into the books. So the first book that I'm going to talk about that I really think will be a five star read is Everything I Never Told You by Celeste Ng. So Celeste Ng is a literary fiction author that I only read for the first time quite recently when I read her other book Little Fires Everywhere and I absolutely loved it. It just delivered on all of the points that people said it would and all of the things that kind of drew me towards it in the first place. Particularly Celeste Ng's kind of perceptiveness when it comes to human relationships and interactions and it was just really insightful and just overall such an enjoyable read. So of course I really need to get to her only other novel and I've actually heard that this one is better than Little Fires Everywhere by a few people which makes me really really excited to read it because I absolutely love Little Fires Everywhere. I actually gave it five out of five stars itself and I believe that this one centres around the death of a Chinese American teenager and it looks at the effect that this has on her family and looks into her family's history as well. I'm just hoping for more of what I got in Little Fires Everywhere from this. I want discussions of love and race and family and I really think this one's going to deliver. I've got really high hopes. Next I'm going to talk about A Book of American Martyrs by Joyce Carol Oates and I actually only purchased this quite recently after I heard about it talked about on Renee's channel over at Renee Pierre. So Rene is quite a new booktuber and he also really likes literary fiction, like myself. He has very similar book tastes to me and I think his channel is really great. He's really eloquent and just very professional seeming and quite impressive for such a new booktuber. So I definitely recommend checking out his channel if you haven't seen it already and I'll definitely link it down below so that you can all go and do that. So I believe this is a literary fiction novel that is set in modern day Trump America and we follow two different families who have very differing ideologies surrounding the abortions rights debate. So I believe at the beginning of the novel we meet a man who performs abortions and then we meet another man who strongly opposes abortions based on religious reasons. And I believe at the beginning of the novel the man who opposes abortions actually murders the abortionist and we just follow the story from there. This book just sounds absolutely perfect for me to be honest. It's literary fiction, it's very long and so hopefully we will get to know the characters really well and it's also set in present day which I love because I love books that discuss societal themes that are really relevant and obviously the societal themes in this are ethically driven as well which I absolutely love. If you didn't know I'm actually studying for my philosophy degree at the moment and moral philosophy especially the kind of applied ethics stuff is my absolute favourite. So give me an ethical dilemma any day and I'll be all over it. <laughs> so yes, I have incredibly high hopes for this one and hopefully I'm going to read it really, really soon. Next is Swing Time by Zadie Smith and I believe this is about two young brown girls who both want to become dancers and it's set across London, New York and West Africa. That's literally all I know about this novel, but to be honest, it's all I need to know. <laughs> this is one that I am so sure is going to be brilliant because I absolutely love Sadie Smith. I was absolutely blown away by her novel White Teeth when I read it last year and it was definitely one of my favourite books of last year. I just found her writing to be so unique, it's so intelligent and perceptive and she definitely discusses a lot of relevant societal and political issues, which of course I love to read about. And so I'm just so sure that this one is going to be brilliant and I'm really, really hoping it's going to be another five out of five stars. Next, I'm going to talk about And the Mountains Echoed by Carl Ed Yossini. So Carl Ed Yossini is an author that I absolutely love. His novel A Thousand Splendid Sons is absolutely brilliant and I recommend it to people all the time and I'm sure I'll keep recommending it to people for the rest of my life probably. <laughs> and I believe this one is also set in Afghanistan like A Thousand Splendid Sons. And I'm sure it's going to be just as emotional and educational and just as beautiful really. So I'm not really sure why I haven't got around to reading this yet. <laughs> so I believe this one is about a 10 year old boy and his little sister who live in poverty. 
and the children don't have a mother and then when their father sets off to find work and travels to Kabul he takes a little girl with him and I believe this is just about the children being separated from each other and what happens from there. I just know this is going to be absolutely heartbreaking and stunning and even talking about it now is kind of getting me excited to read it so maybe I'll pick up this one quite soon. Next is The Goldfinch by Donna Tartt which I'm just sure is going to be a five star read because I've heard so many amazing things about Donna Tartt as a writer and to be honest as a literary fiction lover it's a bit of a crime that I haven't read anything by her yet. <laughs> All I know about this novel is that it is literary fiction and it has themes of art and that it's meant to be quite suspenseful but have really great characters as well. Honestly I just need to get around to reading this because I'm sure I'll absolutely love it when I do. I mean what's not to love about a 750 page literary fiction novel? <laughs> and finally I'm going to talk about A Whole Life by Robert C. Thaler. This is a historical literary fiction novel that is written by the same author as a book that I absolutely loved when I read it last year, which was The Tobacconist. And I've heard that this one is actually better than The Tobacconist, which is really exciting. And it actually says on the front that this was shortlisted for the Man Booker International Prize in 2016 as well, which is pretty great. <laughs> From what I know, this novel is set in the mid 20th century and has a male protagonist. And I'm assuming it is set in Austria because the other novel was set in Austria. I just absolutely loved Robert C. Thaler's tenderness and simplicity in his other novel and just how humane it was and I'm suspecting that that is going to translate across into this one as well. So those are some of the books on my shelves that I'm hoping will be five star reads. If you've read any of them I would absolutely love to know your thoughts on them so please do let me know down below in the comments. I'm really hoping they're as good as I'm anticipating. Also, for people who have booktube channels, it would be really cool to see your versions of this video if you hadn't thought about doing it before. It's just really cool to see what people are excited to read at the moment and also what kind of elements they think are really important to hopefully make up a five star read for them, if that makes sense. <laughs> so that's all for today. I hope you all enjoyed watching as always and I'll see you all next week with my next video. Bye!